Hey. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, The Prom, which the trailer just dropped, and I am tentatively very excited about this. I love the musical The Prom. I saw it five times on Broadway, which is impressive when you realize it flopped and only ran a little less than a year. <laughs> I'm really excited for this movie. Um, I don't know if you saw the trailer. I'm going to play some clips right now. As you can see, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's directed by Ryan Murphy, which isn't the best, but I, I mean, I hate to be one of those people who are like, well, I'm mad about casting, but James Corden really, really doesn't work in this. This isn't a bit, this won't be a joke, there's no twist. I'm just very mad that he's cast in this for a multiple reasons. Um, there are better actors, blah, 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 and there's this, and I don't like when he sings, he holds his pants like he's holding in a and I don't mind that he's in musicals. He's a talented actor. But this character is so important to me because this character is a, a, an open gay man who his entire arc of it is him coming to terms with the abuse he suffered as a child, not being able to be out and proud when he went to prom. And there's a beautiful song in it called Barry's Going to Prom because he's finally going to go to a prom even though he's, you know, a middle-aged man. <laughs> And it's such a wonderful song. And again, this is a musical comedy, but to have James Corden, who is, again, a straight man, play it, and I understand people are like, well, you know, what, are you going to let, uh, what, are you going to let gay men can't play straight people? No, that's not what we're saying. Straight people aren't a marginalized group. Insane to me that we're in tw the year 2020 and we're still having straight actors play gay men. And it's f***ing insulting. When this used to happen, when it was a pansy, and, and, and you had all these characters where it would just be like a big sissy, it was, <sighs> we would say what, it's the sign of the times, you know, it's, it's not, it's not their fault, it's just a sign of the times, and this was happening, all, this is always happening, and again, I mean, James Corden playing a, a, a part in a movie musical is, is not the end of the world, but this character is very flamboyant, so he's going to have to play it flaming. And that is a caricature that is just insulting when it's coming from a straight man. A lot of people are like, well, what about Jack from Will and Grace? Yeah, Sean Hayes is openly gay. You know what? Sean Hayes would have been perfect in this part. He would have. He's the right age, because that's not even the other thing. The other thing, too, is just like James Corden is supposed to be playing a man who's like the contemporary of Meryl Streep. And Meryl Streep is in her 60s, and James Corden looks, you know what, he looks good for his age. He could play 35, he can play 40, but he can't play a man who's in this in his 60s. It's just, it's terrible casting, and I know why they cast it, and I'm not one of those people too who are like, well, you have to get the original actor. I understand that this is a movie, and it doesn't work like that. I'm not a child, but it's a slap to the face every time I see a straight actor play a big gay part today. I don't have an end for this. I'm just heartbroken. I'm going to see this movie. It's on Netflix. But even if it wasn't on Netflix, I would pay money to see this movie because I love The Prom. Man, Bob Martin, who wrote the book, wrote Drowsy Chaperone. He is a musical theater icon, and I love him. And I love this, and the music's so much fun. And But I just want to get to a point where I don't have to see a trailer where I know there's like a gay character and say to myself... Is he going to be insulting? And I don't know if we're ever going to get there. I don't think I'm going to get there in my lifetime. I hope we do. I don't know. Gen Z kids are real fun and queer. They'll they'll fix it for us. Us millennials are we're too done. We're done with it. Anyway, um, now that I have your attention, please do a revival of Kiss of the Spider Woman. All I want right now is a revival of Kiss of. The Although it shouldn't matter. It somehow does.